Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial for dreams by darkness on decks. Today I will be showing you how to make a UI menu for your games. So let's begin. You're going to need some things. You're going to need a text displayer, a selector, three AND gates because we're doing three options, a combiner, a controller sensor and a camera okay so let's begin first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your text displayer and just name it whatever you want I have mine named as main menu you can customize it however you want remove curviness remove the box etc etc now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this. One, two, three. Oh yeah guys, make sure that you have grid mode on. It's very important. But next thing you want to do is you're going to want to just bring each one down. Place them perfect. All right. Now, this is up. This is up to you. I choose not to have the box around my text, so I'm gonna go to each eye and just remove the box. And I'm gonna go in here, and I'm going to actually let's select all of them. Now I'm going to go in here, I'm going to change the color to green. I like green, so let's change the color. Now you're going to go into text brightness, bring that up to about 3. Now what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to get your uh, controller sensor. And you're going to on, go into the last option go into the possessed and bring that output into each start text output all right once you have that done next you're going to want to get your uh, selectors outputs bring that to option one put that on text brightness option two put that on text brightness option three put that on text brightness now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in here you're going to go to the third option and the down d-pad button you're going to place that in your direction combiner into the positive and the up d-pad button you're going to place it into the negative now you're going to place the direction combiner's output into move to next output oh, looks like I already have it inserted All right next thing you're going to want to do is you're just uh, going to connect the possessed into your camera switch and just make sure you have that placed beautifully and let's go into play mode oh my mistake make sure you uh, turn on automatically possess force possession now, as you can see, we have a menu. Alright, now if you want to uh, make the option select whatever it is 
you are wanting to select. You're going to bring output A to AND gate 1, output B to AND gate 2, output C to AND gate 3. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go in here and you're going to go here and put just each second output of the AND gates into X. Now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab three songs just just to show. So let's just go to music. I'll put a song right there. Put another song right here. Put another song right here. I don't believe this is a song. Um I'll put another song right here. Alright, so let's just connect these to each song. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Let me show you. Option 1. Alright, now if you want it to stay on instead of holding it obviously, what you're going to want to do is, going to go in here I believe, play once, there we go. There we go. So now the music plays when you click X instead of holding it. If you don't want the music to mix, if you don't want the music to mix, then you guys just, uh, just figure out a way to uh, block the other signals while one is playing. Alright guys, this has been a tutorial by Darkness on Dex and I hope you enjoyed and this was helpful. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to do UI menu, please let me know in the comments. And have a great day.